Good morning, I'm Chris Dickens, the blue guy on the blue bike that rides late at night with lots and lots of lights. Be seen, be safe. A ten dollar device can save your life. Today, I want to talk about my dyslexia. I think I told you or talked about this subject before. About when I was a kid, I used to not be around with other kids because they would not understand me. Uh, now today, when I'm I am old, I'm a grown up now. It's been many years, and I try to to deal with my dyslexia. My dyslexia sometimes I want to express myself so bad on paper that I cannot do that. I cannot express myself. Only way I can express myself is on video or you, if I saw you. That's the only way I can really express myself. I cannot write anything about how I feel. Anything. I can't. I just can't do it. Uh, you will not, uh, will you not, will not understand one word that I'm typing. I put on my Facebook a little note about my dyslexia. And I want to express myself so bad that day that I was so mad. I couldn't, I, I tried to type, I tried to say things that I wanted to express, but I can't. I can't express things. And I get very mad sometimes and fed up about my dyslexia. And people who have dyslexia tend to get mad at uh, people and of him or herself over dyslexia. I'm telling you, my friends, if you have a child today, please make sure you get it, him or her tested, make sure he or she don't have dyslexia. Dyslexia can be treated with a, a drug called Ritalol. Ritalol. Ah. Ritalol. Ah. Ritalol. Ah. Ritalol. Ah. Oh, my dyslexia is kicking in really bad. Rally, uh, Alright. Uh, I'll tell you the word later. I think I told you all of this before. There's tests you could do to make sure your child doesn't have this. And you catch it soon, the better they can start training their mind to read, spell, and other things that affects them. When I used to talk to people, like new people, I remember my friend, Robbie Hartman, is the main person I, uh, I am doing this for. He asked me one day, are you mad at me? I'm like, no, I'm not mad at you. You sure look like you're mad at me. No, I'm not mad at you, I told him. And I guess it was my dyslexia kicking in. And, uh, I guess I thought he didn't understand me and I had to repeat myself for him to understand or it's just the way I express myself because I didn't know I was doing that. I might say things to you that I'm not really, don't know I'm saying bad things to you. I don't know. Sometimes I have, that's how that dyslexia works. You don't realize you saying something bad or being mean to somebody or being rude. That's how dyslexia works with me. <sighs> I hate to have anybody who have dyslexia or any type of disease. Uh, I feel sorry for my for somebody I subscribe to, which is Francis. <laughs> also Boogie, Boogie29. I think it's 2988. I feel sorry for my friend, even though he's not a really a, a close friend, but a friend on YouTube, basically. <coughs> <coughs> I, <laughs> I told him once you try to get your your stomach staple. And uh, I don't know if you watched my video on that subject. It's on his link. Back to me with dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of diseases that affects the mind. And I have one of them. This dyslexia. And it really, really sucks sometimes because it really kicks in and I don't know what I'm saying or what I'm doing. Uh, my friend that travels with me, we go to parks to take pictures. 
you see my latest videos, my videos, I mean, uh, pictures of I mean, I take, I got more pictures, I can make videos. If y'all like those, please say, make more down below. But y'all don't answer me, so I'll just do what I think I need to do. So, dyslexia affect me my whole entire life. I hated it. I went to a therapist and he says, man, why are you so mean to me? I'm like, no, I'm not mean to you. I just, I, I'm not mean. You, you are. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not being mean to you. He says, yes, you, you are. You just don't realize that you're being very rude and very mean to me. I'm like, how? I'm mean, explain, explain to me. The way you talk to me, he said, the way you act towards me, Oh my God, did that? He says, yes, you have done that. Well, I apologize, because I really didn't know I was doing that to him. And I talked to him, and more I got used to talking to him. I think what it is, is when people get in my private life, I get very upset and mad. I don't know why. If somebody says, hey, uh, uh, by anything about my life, I get really pissed off. I don't know why. I guess it's part of my dyslexia. Or is this the one to one in my business? I don't know. Even, even the smallest things, I get upset. I get really, really upset when people ask me questions about why I do this, why I do that. And I get mad. Unless, unless I wanted to tell them. Maybe, I, maybe if I brought up the subject, I won't get so mad at this person. But he brought the subject to me. And it's probably why I'm, oh, I was so upset or I got mad at him. Or at people who questioned me or asked me questions and I might get upset. Mosquitoes are bad today. Ah, damn! Ah. My voice is kind of getting better. I hope it gets better. But, uh... So... I wish I could find my paperwork that he gave me. It was pretty thick. And I like to read over some stuff with you or type, type it on Facebook so y'all could read what dyslexia does. And we, I, he had like 20 questions. He asked me, he says, you, you, I forgot all the questions, but I try to remember some of them. He says, if you ever had a friend or relative ever say you, you're you being mean. I'm like, wait a minute. I had to think about it. I'm like, yeah, I remember my friend Robbie Hartman. He asked me that question one time. He says, why are you being so mean to me? Or are you mad at me? I'm like, no, I'm not mad at you. Well, you sure acted. Well, I didn't know I was doing that, so I apologize to him. I'm not a violent person. I never was, and I'm never going to be, unless you provoke me, or just bad times in my life that you made me be promoted, pro provoke me to be mean. I mean, really mean, like violent mean, which is very rare for me to be violent mean. I can be that way towards one person I have known in my life. I'm not mentioning anything. I mean, you know, this this is part of my dyslexia. I will say who it is. My brother. I'm very mean towards him for the things he had done to me when being growing up. He used to beat me. He used to hit me. Call me stupid. But guess what? I'm smarter than him. I have a house. I have money. And he has nothing but a paper bag of belongings. And most of the stuff that he has belongs to me that he has stolen. My brother stole from me. He had beaten me over the years when I was a little kid. Now I'm bigger than him and stronger than him. And when he provokes me, I did get violent towards him and only him. That's the only person I ever got violent with. And I meant physical violence. I never hit my brother. I always grab him and say, look, you better. I did, I did hit him. I do, did hit him. All the anger was in me over the years, built up. And finally, I snapped on my brother. Because he promoted me. That's the only person I ever hit or been violent with was my brother. Because he used to beat me. 
He used to hit me for no reason. I looked at him wrong. He hit me. I would say something wrong to him. He will hit me. I would just say something that's not even true or none of his business. He would hit me back then. But now, I'm his big brother. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm his little big brother. I'm the little brother. Of a brother and a sister. And I'm the youngest out the, out the three. So, that's the only person I've ever been violent with. That's the only person I've ever been violent with. Alright, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Got a little sip of water and some bug spray. That might help kill some of these skaters. Now, back to my subject. That's just the only person I ever been violent with. I might bark, but I will never fight unless you really provoke me in an odd way. I do not like fighting, but if I have to, I will. I hope I will never have to fight in my life. So, I hope I never have to fight unless I have to or somebody really, really provokes me. And you got to really provoke po Provoke me to do violent harm to that person. I never hurt nobody except for my brother because he did things to me that I kept inside over years and I finally snapped against him. So he never, he, he don't fool with me no more after I think the last time he provoked me. I just threw him down the hallway and he fell and cut his hand and he bleed. I felt sorry for him, apologize. You know, his, he just, I mean, he made me snap. That's the only person that really makes me snap. Just him just looking at me will make me snap. Sometimes, sometimes he does good when he's not on alcohol or his, whatever he does. Now back to me. Well, it was part of me too. Give me a second. I had to find a stick, but you can still make it. Alright. Now, I try not to be a hateful person. I'm a nice guy. I'd do anything for you, I'd give you my shirt off my back. It is, there's certain people I just don't care for, which is my brother. And he's the only one I really don't care for. I still love him, even though he's my brother, and he did, he did hurt me when I was young. I guess it's my dyslexia, thought I was stupid. But you know, my dyslexia don't mean, anybody who has dyslexia don't mean you're stupid. You're not stupid. You're a smart, intelligent person. People don't realize that until you think about questions. Ask these people questions when they think you're stupid. I remember at work, and finally had somebody very intelligent came to work at, at my job. Usually I talk to people, intelligent people, who gets what I'm talking about, just want to talk about science and certain things. So we did movie trivia. We we call, we talk about a movie, we say the movie's name, the other person would say yes or no, then we ask a question. And we did this all night long. All night long, and this girl that 
thought I was Homer Simpson. You know, thought I was really dumb because the way I talk all the time. And all I at work I use I play a lot. I use my dyslexia a lot. I have fun with my dyslexia. People have laughed the way I talk. I don't mind. I'm used to people laughing at me. But even when I was a kid, people used to laugh the way I talk or say things. I said, well, you don't like the way I speak it? So they laugh at that because I say words wrong or words different from other pe people. So when I say words wrong, they laugh. And I laugh at them too. And I say, what's wrong? You don't like the way I speak it? And they'll, and they'll laugh more. I got used to it. I want people to laugh at me. I'm a character. I'm a clown. I, I'm a fool. Because I have dyslexia and I use it for myself. And sometimes it's against myself. I hate it when it's against me. I like to use it for me to make people laugh. I will say crazy as things. Now back to the subject. Me and my, this guy at work, we will talk movie trivia. And she came back there just looking at me like... What the hell? One day you're, you know, she's probably thinking in her head. This one day this guy is a, a total buffoon. Now he's a genius. Cause we we we, we name a movie. We did not a person say yes or no. If yes, we go with the question. If no, we name another movie. And she looked at me. I'm like, what's wrong? You thought I was dumb as a rock? She's no. I thought she was Homer Simpson. And believe it or not, if I do some research, I bet your Homer Simpson has 120 IQ. Most of y'all probably don't even know that. I do a little some research, I bet you his IQ is 120. I think they did a little IQ on him one time. Find out he's a very intelligent person. Now, people with this dyslexia you don't mean you're stupid or dumb or ignorant. They have intelligence. You just let them talk, ask them questions, or let them ask you questions. Like, what is the coldest planet? What animal has the coldest eye? The biggest eye, listen to me, dyslexia. I'll go on and on and on. I'll ask you different riddles and questions all day long. Can you answer them? That's the question. Damn skater. Damn skaters on Kill on me just for your enjoyment. I'm letting the skeeters eat me. I hope you enjoy join it. All right. And we go on and on with questions about science. Different questions I'll bring up. Why is the sky so blue? Huh? Makes you wonder why is the sky so blue? And I'll go on and on with questions and see how smart you are. And most people cannot answer these questions. Like, when does one plus one equals one? When does one take away one equals two? Most people don't know their answer. And so far, no one even asking any of my questions on my other videos. I know you watch them. I see the, the links to tell me who's watching my videos and who's not watching my videos. I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate you add me to your and you know, subscribe. I appreciate all those comments, which none. I just appreciate everything you do, regardless of what it is. You can make the dumbest or the stupidest comment. I don't care. Leave a comment below. Please subscribe. Please add me on Facebook. It won't hurt you. I mean, you might not understand me on Facebook because you have to type. But if you can read uh, uh, secondhand, you'd probably be all right. <laughs> if you got a little child and they can't spell, well, you should be able to read that or spell check yourself. Another thing, I'm not going to spell check myself. The reason why I believe that's how I'm, I, I spell it, and that's how I'm going to spell it like that. If you don't like it, make, help me make my videos. Come up here, make my videos, and, and do all the editing. Then we have no problem with people understanding the typing on any of my YouTube or my Facebook. But no one is not going to help me and no one's going to jump in to do that. I have to do it on my own. Sometimes my video editing is pretty bad. 
because I don't know how to use everything I see because the words might be scrambled so I have to look at the pretty pictures or watch a video that's how I learn how to do things or watch and how to, how to make stuff by you telling me I have learned faster than trying to read something um, people who did have this type of disability should watch more videos to learn stuff and then when I got out of school I've learned more out of school than in school I stay in school until the last year I am I got a diploma I don't have a GED all my friends have nothing or a GDD and all my friends say I'm stupid guess what well, women. Let me rephrase that. There's a couple of my friends do have a diploma too. I I don't want to say all oh, my friends didn't go and finish school, but there's one friend that used to call me legal. I mean, I used to be. I used to have to go to that class, LD. I think slow learner disability, because I was a slow learner in school. I had to go to a special classroom, ride the mini bus, because people pick on me, because the way I talk, the way I act, people picked on me when I was in school and that stuff. So if you got a child, please, there's help. I, I, I'm, I'm going to try to find out that video I saw about dyslexia. There's a, a program, I think, in Louisiana or Mississippi. I'm trying to remember where it was located at. And it, it helped your child to read lines on paper and how to read words and how to say it right when i used to read a book i'll have to make up a new word for something i didn't know but my memory would remember that 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 word i can remember i can remember words the printing i'll remember how it's spelled i cannot it's weird how my dyslexia works I can read almost 99 to 95 percent of things, but to write it, I, I, I can't write that well. Only words I can write is like fifth grade writing. If you know, if you look at my Facebook, you see how much writing I have. It's all three-letter words, nothing big. Sometimes something big, sometimes not. It all depends. But uh, I can read those words then spell the word. I tell you what, if you come up to me and say, here's a hundred dollars, if you can spell this word, I cannot. Spell it right. I cannot spell that word right word for them. Most of the words I know is all fifth grade words. I can read that word, but I can't write that word. It's weird how my dyslexia affects me. And, if something, and it also affects other things, like how I act towards others, how I think, uh, people question me, I get mad. Uh, I just hope, and also I have ADD or AAD or whatever you call it, it's all dribble jobble to me. I have that also. Yeah, excuse me. So I have more than this one thing wrong with me. That's also a problem. That plus dyslexia, ADD, or ADD, whatever, it affects my mind so bad. How I act and how I talk, it, it frustrates me sometimes. I get mad. I want to express myself, but I can't because of my dyslexia. I want to type and say, I'm sorry for your loss. I, you know, I, I kind of know the guy myself or something. But I can't. I can't express myself like most people. Only way I can express myself is face to face or this video camera and you're watching me. That's the only way I can really express myself towards others is to be face to face with that, that person. That's basically about my dyslexia and it really sucks. I'm telling you, if you have a child or, or or somebody you know, there's a program and there's some medicine out there. Adderall, that's the name. Adderall came to me, finally. Ugh. Adderall can help you. I have taken it for one week only. Not, uh, not the whole thing, because I don't like drugs. Uh, 
it helped me a lot. It helped me spell words I never could spell. Uh, it just helped a lot. But I don't like drugs. Especially this is supposed to be a narcotic. Adderall is a narcotic one. This having a pill on your floorboard can get you in trouble with this crap. I hate drugs and I hate I don't like I don't like drugs, period. I don't care you sell it, I don't care you use it. Just don't come near me with the crap. Your beer. I don't like beer. I don't like alcohol. I don't smoke. I don't do pills. I hate medicine too. I hate that shit. That's why my throat's messed up right now because I don't want to take the medicine I'm supposed to take because th it's a narcotic too. I just don't like drugs. I just, I hate it. Alright, be back. I'm back. Sorry for I had a little pause. It's like a commercial. <laughs> so I don't like drugs. I'm glad I never used the crap. It's this. It's crap. All those drugs, regardless, it's medicine or drugs you find on the street. It's crap. And and the following your body is not part of me. I, I don't do it. Even cigarettes. I don't smoke. I don't do any of that stuff. I just don't like it. That's me. I'm glad I'm like that. I'm glad I don't I don't have that mortality. I need this drug to be in my body. I don't like drugs. I hate medicine. That's why my throat is messed up. Then again, it could be me making my, I do make some type of animal noises, and it's really fun, and, and it's funny to listen to. I guess, I think maybe that scratched the hell out of my voice. Maybe if I shut my mouth for a week, it might get better. Uh, that's part of my life of dyslexia, and how I want to express myself to others through writing, but I can't. I have to make a video. I'm going to link this to my Facebook on one of my notes that I've made about my dyslexia. My hell. <sighs> Mosquitoes! I teach you. This is bad. This is some badass stuff. SSI 50. This kills bugs in a horrible way. Die. Die. Okay. Now. Tonight I, and yesterday was my day off, and I didn't ride my bike. The reason why, I have other people and other things to do. I don't ride my bike every day I'm off. I try to take a break from it. There's a thing I heard about when men ride a bike too long can stop their sexual uh sexual urges to have sex because the bike stops blood flow. That's a fair warning for those who ride a bike for hours and hours. Make sure you walk for about uh, three or four miles after you ride your bike for three or four hours like I do. The other night I rode my bike for, uh, for almost to one o'clock in the morning to I started at 7 to 1 in the morning. That's a couple hours of riding my bike. So, uh, you have to walk after that. Just walk for like 5 or 6 miles to make sure your blood flow goes back where it needs to be for sexual places. Because <laughs> a, a bicycle can stop the blood flow to your friend down there and make you don't want sex so I have learned something through a friend about riding a bike too long can stop your friend from working well <laughs> so fair warning for you guys who rides a bike too long 
But this is about my dyslexia. Not about safety tips. That could be another video. That was just one. Now, just over the years, I try to deal and cope with my dyslexia. Sometimes it's a bitch, but I try to deal with it. I try to deal with it all the time. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Uh, I remember when this road used to be a rock road. Yes, sir, a rock road. All right. Getting away from the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are just eat me alive. Maybe I'll walk. They won't attack me as much like a mutt. I hope that that's not shaking. So. I try to deal with my dyslexia and work with my dyslexia and my disability of dyslexia. I remember my grandma used to tell my mom I need to get the social security card because I was stupid. My, my grandma thought I was stupid. You know, I'm so happy that my parents never called me stupid. They never brought me down. And bringing your kids down by calling them stupid or dumb or idiot and bringing your kids down will bring their self to seem down and later on in life later on in life they feel bad about themselves because you you as a parent brought your child down and I'm glad my parents have never brought me down because my dyslexia or my disability and they didn't punish me at school I mean when I made F's I made F's in almost everything I made F's, F's, F's on every, every freaking thing I have done at school, except for shop, and that looked like crap sometimes. But they never punished me. They never say, "Yo, you punished for this summer because you you made F's." They know I was a genius. They just let me be. They knew I was smarter than I seem to be and sometimes that's what I do I allow people to think I'm dumb but I'm smarter than them it's like when I was getting my house where really was a trailer it was a trailer at first I went I saw this trailer but uh, trailer uh, place where they had uh, was selling trailers and I tried to get a trailer I bought the property or getting the property so when I got the property and we had to go to a process to find out if I could put a trailer here on my property. And this little old lady come up and said, Yeah, there's no trailers down our road. They'll de debunk my property. So we, I couldn't get a trailer on my property. So we had to sell, I mean, during the process of selling the to get in the trailer and stuff. He was telling me some legal actions. He said something about something. He says, you, you know what that means? I'm like, yes, sir. I say, if I don't like the way you were doing things, I could sue you. He had the dumbest look on his face. He thought he was talking to a stupid person. And I fooled him. And I like when I fool people. I love it when I fool you. I fool the hell out of you. Oh, oh he's dumb. Oh, I'll make you feel sorry for me, but I'm not dumb. I'm a smart, intelligent person, and I make you think I'm dumb, but I'm not dumb. I'm smart. I'm smarter than most people. If I took an IQ test, it might come to about 120, like almost it's in, or about 100, at least 99. You might not say that because you think I'm stupid, but I'm smarter than most you think I am. You know that guy at the trailer park, I'm trying to send with the trailer, and he said some legal term. I, I knew what that is. He says, he says, he says, he goes, what? What do you think that means? I said, well, if I don't like the way you you handle stuff, I can sue you. You know, I just, oh, I'll never forget that guy. That guy, well, I'll have him in my memory for years. And he had the dumbest look. He goes, I said, what? You thought I was dumb as a rock? You thought I was dumb? That's what I said. I said, I'm smarter than you think, my friend. Smarter than you think. 
I didn't tell him I have dyslexia because I wasn't ever diagnosed with it. Even though my friend diagnosed me, say, hey, you got dyslexia. No, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. That's my favorite line to my friend. You don't know what you're talking about. Now, every time he says something or he has a bad feeling, I will not do whatever he says, you know, a bad feeling. And I try to have to, uh, uh, I tell him, no, that's to aggravate him. But, but that's how it, that's how my dyslexia works. Makes you think I'm dumb. And I'll keep acting that way and make you think I'm dumb. Make you think I'm some idiot. Oh, that's just stupid. I can, I can go through Bible. I can throw you across this street here. I can throw you from that side to that side with the Bible. And walk you back across. Come on. I'll walk you back across. There's a dead toad here. <laughs> that poor thing. He got squashed by a car. Keep him to eating bugs. Well, he could have ate bugs all day. But he's dead now. So, people think I'm stupid, dumb, idiot, or dumb. Think again. Because most of us people are very intelligent. We, we probably have a, you know, some people are so dumb because they got so much stuff going in their mind. There's like the real Rain Man, if you know what the Rain Man is, or you ever watch the Rain Man. Think of the Rain Man. He looks like the, you look at the Rain Man, he's like really, I mean, you look at him, he's dumb, stupid, retarded, but inside he's a genius. He can't, he just so overwhelmed with knowledge and information, he can't express himself like I do. Like, he's like me. That's how the Rain Man is towards like me. But I can express myself a little bit more than him. He has, the Rain Man has a different, a different type of disease. But he's very, that person had IQ. In the movie, there's a real call, a real Rain Man out there. And his IQ is really up there. Because he has knowledge. It'd be, he'd be like this. Uh, yeah, well, you know, you ask him a question on, on 1852, on the fifth day, what day it was, that fast you can name the day. That's how intelligent and how smart the Rain Man was. That's how smart the Rain Man was. You can say in 1954, on a Saturday, I mean, just name a date, uh, 1954, 5th, name the month, he would tell you what day it was, can you name the day, 1954, let's say, uh, 2-5-1954, what day it was. That guy was just like that. He would name it. He would name that day that quick. That's how smart the Rain Man was. The real Rain Man. The movie Rain Man is different from the real Rain Man. There is videos. Uh, PPS, I think, had a uh, a program about the Rain, the real Rain Man. Even an autistic person is very intelligent. You just, you just have to allow them time. Like on my Facebook, it was, yeah, it was in my Facebook and my YouTube channel. Uh, I have to double check, but my Facebook has a autistic woman. Uh, uh, she's very smart, very intelligent. She can type. I can't even type the words. That's how 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 that shit works. And she explains herself through video why she acts that way, the why, what happens. She can express herself really good. I, I, when I express myself about my dyslexia, I can't. It's just, I can't do it. I don't know why. That's how I feel sometimes. Oh, shut up. This thing's making a noise. It's going to annoy you. Allah. That's funny now. No, don't get mad because I said that word. Alright. So, that's how I feel. And 
don't don't think people are not smart because the way they act. They can be really intelligent, smart person, and you just don't allow yourself to look into or look look through them to find the real true person in them. That autistic girl. She look like she she's retarded, dumb, crazy, out of this world, but she's smart. She just got autism, and autism messes with you really bad. I'm glad I don't have that. Then I'd be home, don't work, can't do nothing, just sit around home and just shake all the time. I'm glad I don't have that. I'm glad. But I do have dyslexia and AD and D. It still affects me in weird ways. And I hate I hate it. That's my hell. My hell. My, oh man. Don't leave. Don't leave me. Please don't leave. Don't leave me. I want to talk to you. Hey, let me shine your eyeballs. There you go. Just don't leave me. Please, just talk to me more. So, what are you doing? Okay, there you go. Just don't leave me. Listen, I appreciate for those who watch my videos. I just want to wrap this up now. I hope... I hope somebody types more down on my comments. It'd be nice if y'all do. Please ask me any question or anything uh, please share my videos please rate my videos and subscribe to my videos I might not make sense to you now but you're helping me with my videos you show me that you do care about people who have this disability and other disabilities I talk about more about my life today than any other videos and I talk more about my dyslexia my hell this is the name of the video is dyslexia my hell and life I just want to wrap this one up I just want to say thank you for those who subscribe I wish more of y'all would subscribe on my Facebook and my YouTube channel I'm sorry if you don't understand me I'm sorry that I have dyslexia, but it's not my fault. Remember that. I'm sorry I act the way I act towards you on the videos. If you think I'm talking bad to you, or you don't understand me, just just try to listen to people. And and my fr and Francis, that 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 soul there. I just love Francis. Subscribe to him if you don't want to subscribe to me. Or you can subscribe both of us. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, I got one of, his, one of his videos on on my channel. And I did some stuff. Alright, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed my this video. I hope you will understand more about my dyslexia, my hell. And more about me and my life. I'll talk more about it if I ever think about it, how I should word things to y'all, and how I should say things to y'all, with my dyslexia and my disability. I hope this video was more, more knowledge to y'all about other things about me. Alright. I'm Chris Dickens, the blue guy on the blue bike. That rides late at night with a lots and lots of lights. Be seen, be safe. A ten dollar device can save your life. And please, please, Mandeville, put a light on your bike. Cause somebody hits you. They'll come running to me. They'll run to your lawyer. Oh, I'm gonna sue. No. He didn't have a light on your bike. My friend died because he didn't have a light on his bike. Don't be another number or statistic on a chart that you was killed because you didn't have a light on your bike. Do it for me. If you don't want to do it for me, do it for your family. If you don't want to do it for your family, then do it for yourself.
Good day.